It's all about drive, willpower, and discipline. Gentlemen, stop your feet. And ladies, clap your hands. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's, let's, let's go, let's go. Gentlemen, stop your feet. And ladies, clap your hands. Let's go, let's go. Let's, let's, let's go, let's go. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel, KCTV. Thank you for tuning in once again. As you can see by the title, your girl used to blow that bitch down. So I'm here to tell y'all my testimony of how I went from smoking every day, sometimes multiple times a day, since 2016 to 2023 to now. This is month three, no weed. So for starters, yes, I started smoking weed in college and it started off as a social thing. I used to only smoke on the weekends. Obviously you in college and you know, ain't nothing else to do but get into some shit. So I got in the weed and that's just what it was. I started off smoking only on the weekends because I wanted to focus on my studies during the week. That was when I first got to college in 2014. But the problem came in is the second I learned how to roll weed. Like 2015, I learned how to roll. 2016, I learned how to roll woods. And because before I was only smoking Dutchess. So then once I learned how to roll woods, it was over with, okay? From 2016 to 2021, I was smoking backwoods. And then in 2019, I had a little run of smoking papers, but the papers wasn't doing it the way it needed to do, but I was broke. So had to do what it had to do. And I was smoking like gang leaves, the uh, the like backwood version of like gang leaves. And then in 2021, up until 2023, when I stopped smoking, I moved to Atlanta and then my friends that I met out here, they introduced me to Grabba leaves. Changed the game for me. I never looked back at a backwood again. I didn't smoke to get high. I smoked because I liked the act of smoking. What I enjoyed most about smoking was rolling up, literally rolling up to see how good I could pearl them up. If you do, or if you have in the past smoked backwoods or gravel leaves, you know when you hit that bitch, it hit back. And that is literally the high for me. I'm not smoking to have the feeling of being high. I'm smoking because I like the way that bitch hit. You feel me? I don't know how to explain it, but if you know, you know. And I know I didn't smoke to be high because if it wasn't a backwood or a gravel leaf, I wasn't gonna hit it. I could have not smoked all day. If you try to pass me a Swisher, a Garcia Vega, a paper, a bong, I'm not gonna hit it. Then once I graduated college in 2017, Team. smoking was more so of a after work activity. It was more like a celebratory, like whoo, relaxation. We just had a long day at work type of thing. What I will say is what increased my smoking like hella was when I became an entrepreneur. So if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I became an entrepreneur in 2021 when I moved out here to Atlanta to pursue my videography, which I'm still going strong, going long. Happy 2024 is up, okay? Once I became an entrepreneur and I was able to make my own schedule and literally do whatever the fuck I would like, I could wake up, hit the blunt, come, edit on the computer a little bit, hit the blunt, go, edit some more, hit the blunt. So I became much less disciplined in terms of like me smoking. I started smoking multiple times a day. Although obviously I've been an entrepreneur, this is going on year three. I definitely noticed a decline in my work ethic when I started smoking every day app, cause I was like, my tolerance was really high. So I feel like everybody experiences different effects when it comes to smoking weed. I am a naturally hype person, energetic person. All it did was suppress all of my emotions, all of my energy. And I 100% saw a decline in like the two years since I became an entrepreneur in just my energy level for sure. Like. I just became tired. I'm procrastinating on my work. If I'm about to be three years into the entrepreneurship, then that means that obviously I still got shit done because I'm still able to sustain my lifestyle. But it's like, I definitely would procrastinate to the last minute to do stuff. But I will say I was not ready to make a change when the change made me. I stopped smoking weed officially October 3rd, 2023. I don't believe in coincidence. I believe that everything happens with a purpose and that God aligns things to happen as they're supposed to happen. So I don't believe in coincidence. But if you believe in coincidence, then this would just sound like a bunch of coincidences to you. So October 3rd, I went, hit up my plug, went to go cop. I smoked and I was watching a YouTube video because that's usually what I do when I smoke. Then finished the blunt and I had this suggested video come up. I believe the title of the video, which I put in my watch later, like I feel like weeks ago, was if you watch this, then you're ready. Ironically enough, at that point in time, I was like, okay, let me see what this video is talking about. Like what, ready for what, you know? So I click on the video, right? And I stretch daily. So then I sit on my bedroom floor over here and I get to stretching. So let me also add that for, I'd say about a week, I was having this pain in my shoulder, which I could not pinpoint where the pain was coming from. Like I felt it in my shoulder, but every time I would press of like, oh, is this the spot? I couldn't like, 
pinpoint like, oh, this is the pain. All right, cool, follow me, follow me. I'm listening to this woman as she's talking about basically a transformation that's about to happen in your life. That's what the video was about. There's a transformation and how you're about to elevate to new levels and you're gonna have to get rid of certain things and in order to enter this new season, this, 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 and that is gonna happen and you're gonna have to cut out this, 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 and that. So I'm listening to this YouTube video and then I randomly, out of nowhere, get this thought in my head and I mean you, it may be God maybe an angel maybe I don't I don't know the voice in my head said if you were presented an opportunity to reach your financial goals by the end of the year and in exchange all you had to do was stop smoking would you stop and instantly I out loud was like of course like yes of course I would do that and the voice was like okay then stop smoking and so then I started having like an internal dialogue in my head I was just like okay like I'm gonna do it so why once I was like, okay, cool, I'm gonna stop smoking. Why I find the exact pain in my shoulder? Because I was able to find the pain, I was able to like massage it out and like, then the pain stopped. Now, I will be completely transparent that that shit was not easy. So what I did personally and what I found out was that all you really need to do is fill your time. Once you fill your time and you stay productive, then by the time that you feel like, oh, let me hit the blunt, it's gonna be time for you to go to bed. And that's what worked for me. Even though I would smoke a blunt right now, let me read a book. Even though I would smoke a blunt right now, let me work on something with my business. Let me go run an errand, something like that. So the more I got my mind off of it, the more I kept myself busy, the easier it was for me to go without smoking. I ain't gonna lie to you, that first two weeks is a muff. You have to recondition your body to not do it and it's like i said it was a habit for me so if you've ever tried to break a habit you know that, that shit is not easy it's not like i had like withdrawals or anything like how some people be like oh once i stopped smoking i couldn't eat i couldn't sleep i became so irritable no like i didn't have any of that i actually was going to sleep early as hell and actually i was eating the exact same amounts as i was when i was smoking so that's why i feel like mine was more of just a habit when i would like really really get the urge to do it during those moments, I have a hookah at home. So that was my replacement for smoking was hitting the hookah, which that actually helped so much. It was like filling that that urge to just wanna smoke something, right? And so then um, after about like two weeks of hitting the hookah, I didn't even wanna hit the hookah no more because if you've ever smoked hookah, then you know that like once them coals start burning out then that flavor start tasting nasty. And it's like, if you're doing that, like I wouldn't hit the hookah every day. I'll probably, when I like that first two weeks, I'll probably hit it like three times out the week. And like, it just was real nasty. I'm like, ugh, I'm, I don't like this flavor, burning cold taste once the shit, like starts wearing out. So it kind of like made me not want to hit the hookah at all. So then I completely stopped hitting the hookah period. And I literally have not hit the hookah since then. Since I wasn't planning on it, I felt like I was missing out on that feeling that, oh, euphoric, relaxing, just, ooh, just rolling up and hitting the blunt and da 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 da. I'm like, man, like right now, I know a blunt would hit, like I know it would hit. So boom, week three, October 21st, I gave in, I gave in, I went to go cop, and I only got a dub, so I go do my routine, get my guava leaves, roll my weed, I hit it. Why was it so nasty, y'all? I'm talking about the smell of it, the taste of it, hitting it, it made my heart, like, mind you, I wasn't even having these types of symptoms before, it made my heart beat so fast, I had shortness of breath, like, I hit that motherfucker, like, you would have thought that that was my first time smoking. I'm like, oh hell, you used to do this shit every day? Like, I kid you not, it was a completely different feeling than what I had ever felt every other time I had smoked. It literally took away any FOMO, any desire that I had to ever smoke. Like before, I used to be able to smoke a, smoke a blunt down until that bitch was damn near ready to burn my fingers. When I copped that last time, October 21st, 2023, I'm only smoking to a half a blunt, like can't do it, I'm done. So literally after October 21st, I feel like although I wasn't supposed to do it because I was like on a fast, if I didn't do that, I probably would have still had that desire to smoke because it would have been like, oh, I'm missing out on something. I'm missing out on this feeling. I instantly felt drowsy, I felt weighed down. And so once that happened, I literally to this day have not smoked. So it started off as a fast and now I'm just like, uh, I don't think I wanna smoke anymore. Although I did not reach the financial goals I personally set for myself at the end of the year, I mean, I still ended the year fine. I feel like it was more so of like incentive to get me to stop smoking 
just so that like this year I can reach new heights, new levels. I could focus my attention on what it should be focused on. I can allocate my money to things that are actually going to give me a return on investment. We would always make me super, super chill, super calm. I didn't give a damn about nothing. I didn't over express emotions. Like it was just like, cool. It'd be like, oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's great. Now I'll be like, ah! like you feel me and that's how I used to be so I'm not making this video to tell you to stop smoking or to keep smoking all I'm saying is is that if you are watching this video it is probably a sign that it's time to make a shift in your life anything that you are introducing new to your life to your body to your daily routine is going to take some adjusting to make a pros and cons list what is the pros of you smoking what is the cons and see which one outweighs which one makes more sense for your life now let me also be clear I'm not saying that I'm just never going to hit a blunt again but what I am saying is I feel like if I do smoke it'll probably just be like oh I didn't link with my friends oh we going out oh yeah I'll hit them up twice and, and keep it pushing I definitely don't see myself going back to like a daily or every other day or even really just copping on my own just on some chilling in the crib so that's my journey and I'm still on it. And remember, you cannot grow and still be comfortable. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and then comment below if you have any questions, if you need a little word of encouragement, if you wanna share your story and comment below if this video felt like your final push to actually give up weed. Like I wanna know because Let's go through this journey together, okay? If this is your first time seeing me on your screen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because uh, we back on the grind 2024 weekly videos. What's up? This concludes another segment of Keeping It Real with Ken all day, every day. Get down, little mom. 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 Get down, little mom.